at the top eight. Ash Acer here after beating Old Rich and Spiffarific. Roomdo here after beating the Overmaster and Apple Chips. I'm sorry. Let's give credit to Roomdo for beating number two, the Overmaster, and number one, Apple Chips, <laughs> in back to back mm. rounds. <laughs> Wow. That's not an easy that's, that's not an easy feat right there. <laughs> no, no, it isn't. That's that's quite impressive. Indeed. All right. Our players are ready. Let's tell them that they are good to go. And then let's head down to the action of the finals. Winner of this goes on to the invitational. Let's head down to the finals yep. of Tuesday Night Eternal Summer Challenge number nine. Alrighty, welcome everybody to the finals of Summer Challenge number nine. We've got Telemachus and Ilya here on coverage. We've got Rune Do and Ash Acer here in the game. Both of these players have dominated tonight. Ash Acer just on a 7-0 tear. Rune Do on a 6-1 record. But that includes wins over the Overmaster and Apple Chips. And I believe also, didn't this deck also beat... Uh, I'm straight, who's our spring champion winner. So our spring champion, our number one player, and our number two player. So Roomdoo's got the gauntlet. But again, a great starting hand for Roomdoo. Two solid one drops, plus a league explorer, plus a three drop. Yep. The only thing on this uh, deck, Ilya, I'm not, I'm not sure about Iron Ursa. I mean, it seems pretty good. I'm, that's probably the best three drop, but that's the only question mark in my mind, is it seems like that card has been less impactful tonight than some of the other ones we've seen. Uh, oh, for sure. The the three drop is, you know, has so much competition. Uh, Vadius, original Vadius. Uh, you know, maybe the new Vadius without the Aegis. Uh, you know, your 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 choices of merchant or smuggler just goes on. Yeah. All right, stairs eyes here for Ash Acer. That's gonna eat a torch. This is one of the few times we've actually seen Roomdo have to take off to like spend an early removal spell to get through. Now, pretty impressive that can also follow up with a 2-2 Grenadine drone, so not too much of a time off, but we do it. We did see Roomdo actually have to play a removal spell instead of a unit there. League Explorer oh, going to get silent, so no more depth charges from that. No, but that might not even be necessary because, oh, hey, you know, Turn one, run on the play, turn two, League Explorer, and then removal, removal. That's how an aggro deck just draws it up. Aside from the fact that, you know, oh, I'm stuck at two. <laughs> yeah, when your deck can just fully do everything it wants to do while you're at two power, that's also a, a benefit as well. <laughs> mm. All right, Smuggler going to go to the market. Going to get Bring to Justice. Remember, that costs one now. Going to silence and stun the auto tread. But as you said, might not even matter here. Roomdo is just going to A space and push through five damage, putting Ash down to six, then follow up, I assume, with the Ursa. Also, Roomdo doing all this tonight, yep. Ilya, by the way, on their first T&E. The first T&E Roomdo's ever played. So, I mean, wow. pretty, pretty impressive. Pretty impressive for anybody to make the finals. Uh, I believe we had someone do that a couple weeks ago, but I don't think anyone's ever won a T&E on their first try. I guess the first one, by definition, did. But other than that... All right, Akaria for Ash and Hojin. But Hojin not going to trigger this turn. And that's lethal. Yeah, the lethal with the death charge. And room do quick work of Ash Acer there. Now, talk to me about this matchup. How does this matchup work with Kira? Is Kira... I mean, Kira has a lot of early plays. So it doesn't seem like, by definition, it's a bad matchup. But Kira's early oh, plays are also require, you know, require some things to go around them, too. It's not like they're just right. powerful cards right. on their own. Right, right. And that's the issue that the Kira deck was on the draw, didn't have, you know, didn't have a, a, a great turn two, you know, it doesn't have a great turn two presence. So, you know, if you can get the Hojin or the Kira, the early Kira with the Silver Blade Intrusion, that's one thing. But if you can't, and you're on the draw against turn one, own your own, and 
you know, things go bad in a hurry. But yeah, you know, uh, Kira, Kira classically has had issues with aggro. And this is, you know, your classic balls to the wall, honest fire aggro. Sure is. About as aggro as you get. All right, Ash Acer, luckily on the play, but Rumdu again with a busted start. I, how, how is Rumdu getting these great starts? Is this just like great deck building, great lock, a combination of both? Because Rumdu has had like a perfect curve every single game we've watched them. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, a, a little bit of luck and a lot of bit of, hey, I put these one drop, one and two drops in my deck to draw them on turns one and two. But, yeah, that oh, is a big part there, of it, but I, even, I think it's even further than that, which is the, the what? power, too, and drawing a permafrost off the top. Look at that. Wow. But the power has also worked off, where it's been, it's been both fire and primal cards, but they've always had fire and primal you know, influence. <laughs> yeah, that permafrost was huge, getting that dove there, following up with a snow crust yeti as well. Yep, just good fundamental aggro deck building. And now is is the time that gets kind of iffy for for a Huru Kira deck that oh you know now you're you're behind, your Huru Smuggler doesn't you know, isn't all that great into two ones. Yeah. And so uh Rune Dude just says, Okay, my my one my one cost two one for your uh, three cost three two. I'll take that trade any day. Yeah, uh, Ace says in chat that the matchup feels horrible for Kira. I kind of agree, and I and I think it goes back to it's not that Kira doesn't have early plays. Kira does have early plays, but just one to one card for room dues are they're, they're not more powerful. Like you said, it's trading like one cost two ones for three cost three twos. <laughs> right. You know the the Steyer's eyes, the the Silver Blade intrusions. Yeah, they're good, but. You need to set them up, and sometimes not even that's enough. Right. I mean, the the two cost one one endurance. Yeah, it's fine, but like it's not. It's just every single card is under what Rumdu is doing. When you when you cut off, when you basically stop the game, stop the curve at at three, and you say, okay, that's great that you have more powerful things, but if we're only looking at our one and two drops, then whose is more powerful? And <laughs> seems like rumdu has mm. got that answer here. Intrusion's gonna be pretty nice here. Ash is going to be able to Definitely. eat two units. That's going to be big. Being able to play yeah, out a so, blocker plus intrusion is going to definitely help Ash. Yeah, so, you know, I think there might have been a mistake on Rumdu's part. You know, not going for the pre-combat uh, Ursa. Which would have disabled that, that intrusion. Oh, yeah, you're right. I didn't even know about that second ability, the negate. Yeah. Yep, it's it's why I play the card. And now Mabeloft Huntress comes out. And, yeah, the, the Ash Acer has to know that stealth card is the, is the Iron Ursa. I have to imagine gets picked off. Yep. And, yep, there it goes. All right. Well, Ash Acer, starting to stabilize here, also has, you know, Bring to Justice another Akaria in hand. So this League Explorer is just going to come down swing, immediately drop that Depth Charge. Yeah, I like, that's what I like about League Explorer too, is that the Depth Charge happens either way. It's not a, you know, it's not an infiltrate, it's not a whenever it hits, it's yep. just, you get it either way. <laughs> All right, that's going to put Ash to eight. Playing out a Grand and Drone, and then two from the Depth Charge is going to put Ash down to six next turn. There is the Bubble Shield in right. hand, though. I wonder if it was interesting. The Room Dew held the power there. Interesting that Rune held this power last turn instead of letting the depth charge fire off. Hopefully they don't draw, you know, three power the next the next two turns. Right. It might not matter, but I definitely wouldn't hold power with my <laughs> depth charge going. All right, bring to justice. Take care of the two two. Permafrost yep. your own unit for the win. 
Can you? Yeah. No, there's a face shield. No, can you... Are you allowed to curse no. your own units? It doesn't uh, matter. No, I, I think curses are enemy only. Curses are enemy only, yeah. Well, I guess Whoa. I can survive another turn here. <laughs> yeah, so can't attack into this life-stealing Hojin. Yeah, holding that power is going to come back to... Unless I miscounted, maybe Rimdu had already played a power that turn. I thought they hadn't, but maybe they had. So I'm not going to beat him up for it. Right? Maybe I just misread it. Well, that'll do it. <laughs> Alrighty, yeah, Rimdu. Okay. Wow. One to pop the Aegis, and then... There we go. Or could just, do that. just can do it through regular combat damage. Doesn't even need it. And congratulations to Roomdo for just rolling through tonight on Skycrack Aggro. You are the winner. $20 wealthier and invited to the Summer Invitational coming up on Sunday, yep. September 19th. Well done. Yeah. Well well done, you know, just fundamental, you know, aggro deck building, you know, and in 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 the vein of, you know, Skycrack Aggro from all the way uh from set 2, yep. just with some upgrades in some places and yeah, you know, Agro doing what it does. It was impressive. Yeah. All right. Well, that was that was fun to watch. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, sorry. I apologize to chat that now you're going to go see this deck on ladder all day. You know, the TNE effect. <laughs> I apologize for that. But that was pretty fun to see and, and well played. Well, solid deck building by uh, by the winner there and well played and had to face a total gauntlet, too. So had to face the spring champion, the number one player. The number two player and the 7-0 undefeated player on the course to win that one. So that's wow. 